Now, there's quite an extraordinary story that's emerged this weekend on Fox News about a Chinese virologist who defected to the United States, and she's now speaking out about the Chinese government's cover-up of COVID-19. Her name is Li Meng Yan. She told Fox News she believes China knew about human transmission of the virus well before it admitted it was infectious. You'd have to say she was right. And she says she was silenced when she tried to raise the alarm. Let's have a quick look at what she had to say. This is from the 31 December in China. And early morning, one of the doctor asked whether there are doctors in Wuhan who can share this information about this SARS-like virus. But there are people immediately warn this doctor that don't ask. She now has concerns for her life. Richard, how significant is this revelation? I think it's incredibly significant, Shari, but what it really shows is what we've known all along, that the Chinese Communist Party has done everything in its power to cover up its complete malfeasance uh, in dealing with this virus at the very outbreak, and it continues to do so. I mean, the story of this Chinese vir virologist just follows um, the way that um, doctors in Wuhan were earlier persecuted when they raised questions about this virus at the very beginning. They were told to be shut up. You know, they were, they were kind of, some of them were even, you know, arrested. And ever since then, um, China has done everything it can to either cover up figures, keep away from scrutiny, just look at what they've been trying to do, avoid this, uh, an independent, the independent global investigation that Scott Morrison has been pushing for. Look at some of the reporting that you've done in the Daily Telegraph about what their scientists have been up to. At every step of the way, China has done its absolute best to shine the spotlight away because they know that this is the closest that Xi Jinping's regime has come to facing any any sort of questions by the by the Chinese people. I mean, the reports out of China have been that, you know, for the first time in a long time, Xi Jinping's grasp on power is, is looking more tenuous. So I, 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 it's not surprising news, but it, it's very significant in that it just establishes a pattern here. Yeah. Darren, there's now growing pressure on what China knew about COVID-19 and when, and also whether the virus did originate in a Wuhan lab. Uh, do you expect any answers out of the World Health Organization inquiry? It's interesting, isn't it? Because um, we learned this morning in press reports that the, um, the lab that you've done some really great um, global scoops into might not be actually looked at by the inspectors um, when media outlets have pressed who for answers as to where they will go and whether they'll be allowed into the lab. Um, they haven't actually confirmed whether they will be allowed in or not. Um, as Richard rightly says, um, since the beginning of this outbreak, when it first emerged in early January, we know from an AP investigation and private recordings that um, WHO officials were privately um, frustrated by the lack of transparency um, from Chinese of officials. Um, and that's just continued to this day. Um, last week, the Sunday Times in London had a a great story um, about the closest match, the closest coronavirus strain to COVID-19 um, being looked at in a lab um, seven years ago. And we've, we've not learned about this from China. We've learned about this from a Sunday Times investigation, which just proves that um, this story has just been one cover up on top of another. So um, I, I don't think anybody would um, have any confidence that they will be, get the access they need and get the answers that the world deserves. And I think the other point is it's probably too late now. Six months on, you know, it's very unlikely they're going to find patient zero. Yeah, I, th I think that is a real concern. And also, you know, when the WHO, when the World Health Organization ins inspectors first went into China uh, in February, when China finally admitted it did have an outbreak, they weren't then allowed to visit the wet market, just extraordinary, and neither were they allowed or they didn't even request to go to either of the Wuhan laboratories. So we'll have to see if they are given any access this time.